What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, specifically in today's episode, we do have a few different things to look at. Obviously, uh, the first and the major one is a major slump that took over pretty much Bitcoin and a lot of these major cryptos. We were on target and on track to see a pretty solid break to the upside here. And then almost immediately, we reversed out of it and actually came crashing down as of this morning here major short sell, major swing to the downside here, falling from $45,500 all the way down to $40,000, $40,600, about a 10, almost 11% drop in price in literally just a couple of hours. So I'm sure you guys get a lot of questions. And I'm sure you guys want some answers. As for the small puppy in the back, I am watching him till the end of this week. Uh, you know, dog sitting here. So let's see if he can sit through this video for 10 minutes straight or if he's going to jump around and get in my microphone. We'll see. That's a challenge. But um, with that being said, we're also going to be looking at these other cryptos, which also saw a sudden correction here. Obviously, when one crypto does, they all do it at the same time. It's interesting because I would never have expected the bull flag breakout to actually break downwards here at such an aggressive rate. And you can see almost within the drop to the downside, we're already reversing back up. And there's a very good chance we're going to come back inside of here by the end of close today. So there's definitely a lot of things we have to go over and discuss this was definitely unexpected and quite surprising um not so much um you know out of the blue here obviously we've been waiting for a massive breakout now to come right around this point here whether a massive break to the upside or a massive break to the downside one of those was what we were expecting here and we are starting to see that drop so i do have a few articles which will explain why exactly we saw that drop happen as of today but with that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe and let's jump into today's episode so guys before we begin you can see here it says michael saylor who hopefully Hopefully you guys are familiar with big, big, big dude in cryptocurrency holds a lot of stock. You can see Michael Saylor begins selling 216 million in MicroStrategy stocks for more Bitcoin. As to why this caused a drop in price is kind of beyond me. You can see here, Saylor previously said the move would allow him to address personal obligations and of course buy more Bitcoin. MicroStrategy executive, I mean, then again, if you were going to buy... $200 million worth of crypto, uh, obviously try to swing the market a little bit lower and then you can buy in. So I don't know why exactly this all started to happen here at the exact same time. It's a bit odd, but you can see right here, it goes Bitcoin sums as 400 million liquidated in two hours. So very coincidental that we have this major sell-off. Then we have major whales buying into the crypto. But as you can see here, the reason they're saying the drop off happened. Is it saying matrix port? Uh, I actually want to pull up that article that we just had opened right here. Let's pull that up, Michael Saylor. This is micro strategy, and then this is matrix port. So they are different companies. That was kind of my my curiosity if there are any any so related here. But you can see matrix port said it expects to see the SEC to reject all ETF applications this month. Whether or not the causation is the correlation here, but it's saying Bitcoin said eight percent as Wednesday on Wednesday as jitters around the anticipation approval of a spot Bitcoin ETF began to enter the market. The slump retraced the entire upside move that occurred on January 1st, spurring the liquidation of 500 million worth of possessions across derivatives exchange. The likelihood of the ETF's passage became less and less likely and the market saw a stalemate. So whether or not a correlation is causation, uh, causation is up for debate here, but we did see this big drop and they are saying it's because of these jitters uh, for the SEC to reject all Bitcoin in crypto ETF. So I don't know, quite interesting. Let me know what you guys think here. Obviously correlation and causation isn't the same thing, but it does all seem to happen right around the same time. Now, as you guys can see here, uh, we did talk about XRP breaking out literally just yesterday. I find it quite ironic. We mentioned a breakout to happen as of yesterday, and then here we are seeing major swings, obviously not to the general upside that we were hoping for and anticipating, and it was unfortunately to the downside, but it was a break nonetheless here. Now, what we need to go over in depth is what exactly is going to happen, and are we still going to, you know, scream bullish here? You can see markets fell 6.5%, 74 on the fear and greed index, literally trying to reverse out of everything we just accomplished here. Bitcoin swings up, consolidates, dumps. Ethereum swings up, consolidates, dumps. BNB still looks good. Solana dumped. XRP dumped. Cardano dumped. Pretty much every cryptocurrency is starting to swing downwards here, which is quite 
ironic if you ask me here. Uh, it looks like XRP took the biggest stumble. However, we are starting to correct. And typically with major swings like this, they don't usually last. I mean, this dropped us all the way from 50 on the RSI all the way down to oversold. And now we fell or we fell all the way down to 48 cents. And we've now swung all the way back up to 55 cents within a matter of minutes, which is pretty crazy or, or just a couple of hours here. And there's a good chance we could almost immediately reverse back into here. Uh, back to where we started from because I don't think it's over yet. Typically, these bull flags break us to the upside here. Uh, we've seen it consistently, and it's almost a very simple textbook breakout that we consistently see across the board here. One, two, here's three. I mean, over time, we've seen it historically happen here all last year. Breakout, 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 breakout. Now, we have been kind of waiting for a dump. Don't get me wrong. We've been expecting to see the S&P start to head lower. And I'd like to see the S&P head lower because we are so overbought right now. We are kind of at a very high peak. And I've mentioned that we need to consolidate, if not dump lower or dip lower here. And you can see we're kind of doing that right now. Although I'd like to see a bit more, whether or not this is the lowest point we move to or we go lower than that. It's honestly fine. There's a good chance we could even come down a moving average, which would be huge. But we'd get oversold before then. Anywho... We're trading at about 62 on the RSI, so I would suspect to see a bit of a drop lower um, to consolidate downwards, and then we'll head up even higher. But these all these cryptos kind of looked at potential correction here. Again, we still don't look half bad. As for XRP, this is the one that took the biggest fall, and coincidentally, the same time. Typically, these bull flag breakouts happen to the upside here. So good thing we haven't even bought in yet to XRP or some a lot of these cryptocurrencies besides like Bitcoin here, which was an aggressive buy-in. But otherwise, you can see we were starting to stagnate. We were flat getting flatlined out on the relative strength indicator at about 50 on the RSI. So the fact that we're seeing this correction right now is not so much a surprise. It is right around the timing that we were expecting to see a big swing. However, I was not expecting a dump to the downside. So the fact that it came so aggressive, it's got me thinking, are we going to continue to dump or shall we pull back up? I mean, even looking at the weekly here, it seems a bit off. Uh, yes, we're right in queue here. It doesn't actually look that bad when you when you take a, a closer peek at this here. You can see we're right in between the moving average yet again. So with the correction to the downside here, we're still inside support. I'd likely think we're going to hang out in here, and I don't think we're going to be breaking through it. So let's see how today closes. There's a very big chance we could Reverse right back inside this moving average, fill us out, and then see that breakout to the upside. It's a very, very big and strong possibility. However, if we close below here, let's say we close below these supports, then there's a chance we could get in for a short. But I'd like to see how this pans out because things aren't necessarily adding up in my book. And obviously, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. Obviously, we do all these trades on BidFi, the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I'd like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits. Everything you'd want on an exchange is offered on BidFi, including signup bonuses of over $2,000 in free crypto that you guys can get, which is awesome. They even have on derivatives a demo trading account, which lets you practice and trade around with $50,000 of Monopoly money completely free. Um, to get familiar with the website. And then when you're ready, you can switch over to live trading real crypto, but they have Bitcoin for sample trading. They even have XRP for sample trading, which is awesome here. So you can obviously practice your skills, get familiar, and then you can do what you want. But you can see here, simply put, this consolidation typically doesn't last. And a break to the downside is what happened. It's unfortunate, but it's not so much a surprise. And that makes sense. If I scale this out here, this sort of consolidative market right here is not surprising that we saw a dip to the downside. But we'll see if this lasts as we could correct back up. And that same thing goes with a lot of these other cryptos. You can already see the receding back to the upside here. Uh, Ethereum has been trying notoriously to break through this price ceiling here. You can see in green, we attempted it yesterday and you can see we immediately closed back down below it, which again, not surprising. And we saw an immediate dump pulled us all the way below our uptrend here in ascending triangle. Even with that though, you can see we're now receding off this bottom uh, floor here. We hit the price floor and we're already practically back up inside of the uptrend yet again. So again, let this play out, let it pan out, and then we'll make decisions based off of that. You can see Bitcoin too has a beautiful uptrend here. Price ceiling, we did see a small break yesterday. It did hit our stop loss, but we'll be able to capitalize on it later. Uh, we just need to let things pan out a bit more. And then you can see here, where did we fall? 
all the way down to 40,500, but we've receded all the way back up to 4,250, which is yet again back above the uptrend. And I'd likely think XRP is going to do the same soon too. So we got to keep our fingers crossed as I do believe that's to come. And lastly, the S&P, which is starting to dip lower, we do have a reversal doji candle, so we could end up heading higher. It is definitely a huge possibility, but even then, there's a chance we're going to dip lower. There's a big chance. I'd honestly like to see that happen because it will get uh, an opportunity to throw some more money in. But with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. But with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>